Welcome to Scenix Legislative Update for March the 3rd, 2017. I'm Artis Watkins, your Government Relations Director, and I'm here with Suzanne Beasley, our Senior Lobbyist, and David Collins, also one of our it, lobbyists. It has been an interesting week. Uh, finally, the budget process is underway with Governor Cooper releasing his budget, which included a 2% pay raise and or a $800 base pay raise, depending on which one is more valuable to whichever the whichever is higher for you exactly yeah. and also he was including a one-time five hundred dollar bonus for all state employees um, he also took in consideration for retirees with a 1.5 percent one-time bonus um, we we're still it's just the start of the process we're still going to advocate for a meaningful pay raise and cola um, and now the ball is in the senate's court so we're waiting to see uh, what they come up with and like David said, it just starts with the governor's budget. So now the Senate has um, their hands on it, and the legislature is who really makes the budget and passes it. So um, our work begins. Yeah, and, and one of the things that was in Governor Cooper's budget is something the legislature is you know, going to have to address, and that is an unfunded retiree health care liability. And we hate that term. Actually, the legislature calls it OPEB in the budget, but it's... It's called a retiree health care liability because what it actually is is an unfunded promise to employees. And as these employees retire and expect the health care they were promised, um, that bill, you know, the bill to pay for this is, is looming out there and somebody has to pay it. And so House Bill 24 is something that was in the legislature this week and heard in committee. And Pat Hurley, a representative who's a scenic member and um, Last year's Legislator of the Year. Yeah, she, she's a longtime friend of state employees, and she put forward this bill with some other folks to look at the unfunded liability in a study committee. We don't have a problem with that, but what you need to know is this promise made to you, it's, it's fine to, to look at how to pay for it as long as it doesn't end up coming uh, from you. You don't need to pay for promises made to you. And in the past, there were some proposals put forward that didn't really get anywhere, but they would have ultimately made costs go up for you. Um, we have some other ideas and we'll get back to you on it, when and if we need you to call mm -hmm. legislators, but we're working with different legislators and with the treasurer because we think there are ways to deal with this unfunded liability, which could be $32 billion, which the well, whole state budget is $21 billion, mm -hmm. so this is a, an insane amount of money, but it's got to be addressed. So the governor's budget, uh, which I had mentioned, put $150 million aside out of the general fund for this. Again, we think there's maybe some other ways to handle this rather than taking some general fund money and putting it there. And we don't want legislators to get skittish and think, well, it's another way state employees or retirees are costing money because there's ways to do it right. where, where that doesn't need to be the case. And we'll keep you posted on that as it goes. Um, another big thing, March 29th is Lobby Day. Um, if you are interested in going, contact your district chair and let them know. Um, and they will guide you through what you need to do to register to be here. Um, it's going to be a fun day. It's a great time for you to come and visit with your legislators. We'll be on the ground to help you find mm -hmm. um, your people. And um, it's just a, a good day. We need you there. They need to hear from you. It's one thing to hear from us, but it's, it's a totally different thing when they hear directly from you. So March 29th is the big day. Contact your district chair, sign up, and come to Raleigh. Legislators are not against you. I mean, I think that a lot of times maybe people feel like uh, the legislature doesn't want to do anything for me. That's not the case. We're talking to legislators every day who very much want to see things get better for the working people of this state, and they know you represent, uh, you know, nothing could be more working family than the state employees who are the backbone of this state. So please come talk to them. They want to help you, and they want to hear from you as to how they can help you. So... Come see us on March 29th, and we're all going to make this day better together. Thanks.